In this video, I'll be demonstrating some advanced massage techniques for the upper back and shoulder. And if you find this content valuable, please consider subscribing. Let's jump right in. In this quick demonstration of an upper back routine, I am starting off by using some cupping tools to warm up the area, particularly focusing on releasing the fascial layer, the connective tissue. And, and by using these cups in this way, I'm not trying to leave cupping marks. So this is a uh, section in drag, really a cupping massage technique um, right over the lat and the ribs here. And these cupping tools I've really enjoyed using for the past few years and they're by a company called Laura Essentials. I love Laura Essentials because they have a variety of cupping tool options. These ones are their silicone cups. This is a great technique. You apply a suction and then pull away from the skin and jostle the cup a little bit. It really allows you to increase circulation to the area quickly and again, really targets that connective tissue, that fascial layer. And now, on to some myofascial release techniques. Just some broad palm strokes, holding with one hand and working with the other. The working hand, in this case, is dragging down towards the sacrum and off the iliac crest on the hip. Being mindful of best practices for body mechanics is always so important. So in this case, being right over your wrists, making sure the angle of your wrist is a healthy one. The elbow should be um, where the pressure is coming from and the shoulder should be over the elbow as much as possible. And so I'm always trying to work from broad to specific. So beginning with the cups, now with my palms, and here are these more specific techniques. Bringing the arm behind the back allows you to get really great access to the scapula and the subscap. This is a pincer grip. You can see the inferior angle of the scapula quite nicely. And as my hand grabs on both sides, so the medial border is the thumb side and my fingers are on the lateral border of the scapula targeting now the lateral border with my fingers terry's major and minor and the lat attachment there and then now some more transitional strokes using the palm of my hand all of these strokes again are nice and slow myofascial release techniques. This is a great way to release the rhomboids all the way down to the lat and off the ribs here. Again, just intentionally slow and focused drag technique with the palm of the hand. And now back to more specific work just to really release the rhomboids. When you're thinking about working the upper back, there's always a lot of tension in this area in between the shoulder blades. So many clients will complain about pain and pain patterns in this area. And so that's what this video is particularly focused on. Some techniques and ways to gradually warm up the tissue and then go in more specifically and deeper with targeted techniques. Now, some transitional strokes. And I'm going to finish off with some pulling along the latissimus dorsi here. target the upper trap and the levator scap area again just again that broad stroke and then going in more specifically with the thumbs beginning at the spine heading towards the superior angle of the scapula from origin to insertion
And that's going to wrap up today's quick demonstration of targeting the upper back and specifically the pain patterns that can develop in between the shoulder blades. We treat this on both sides. This is a one-sided demonstration for today. Hope you got some value out of watching this routine. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching today. If you found that content valuable, please consider subscribing. As always, any questions you have, leave those in the comments down below. Stay healthy, stay strong, and I'll see you next time.